was on the edge of giving up, but did find a mod that can do rail to space rail upgrade. Nice. Oh, so it is a mod? Nice. Can sleep when you're dead? Wow. You and T-Hex stabbed me in chat tonight. Stabbed you? Let's jump over to the Oni, and time to fix up our title. Uh, what episode was I on with Oni? Part 8? I think. I hope. I have no clue where we're up to, what we're going to be trying to do today, so I'm just going to call it part 9. Mod is Upgrade Builder and Planner. Nice. Alright, Blind Oxygen not included. Game is... Oxygen not included. Blind. Would it be accurate to still call it first playthrough? If you restart a hundred times and never get through the game, is it still the first playthrough? You remember my shout out? <laughs> that that wasn't intentional. <laughs> When you tried to shout her out, Space Explorer has made Robot extremely hard to use. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain. Tinoz, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. To have requested chests, you need a ton of research. Yeah, there's a few freebies that you can get. Um, all the more reason to use that auto crafter. Alright, um, let's make sure I update thingamajig. Blind should be fine for the tags, right? Alright. Uh, resume, definitely the first colony. Fantastic. I don't think that holds up in court. I didn't mean to stab her. Wow. Throwing my words back at me. And you weren't even there to see them as far as I know. Uh, so we have our cool brine, which we're going to desalinate. Oh, this is what I was building last. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got electrolyzing coming soon, TM. That was the first raid message? Oh. They might have flown past me too quickly to notice. I have I have the text chat size relatively big on the second monitor. Into the breach stream when? I was actually thinking of doing that today, but I thought it was a bit too short notice to change the schedule. Maybe tomorrow? Next week? Question mark? I'm actually really excited to play Into the Breach again, especially with the new stuff. I'm excited enough there's like, no, I gotta hold off until I do it on stream. Skills, what are we at? Someone has lots of morale. Exosuit training, fantastic. Ben Wu. Evan is getting a bit low on morale if I do this right now. Let's hold off for now. Evil Pla. Um, we could probably afford improved construction. Carenza. That can probably stay for the moment. Matrim. Art fundamentals are actually free. Go for it. Uh, Sloda. 
I'll probably hold on to that for now. Veldak. Hell yes. We've got our first advanced medical doctor. So, number one chef, number one doctor. And you also want to do astronomy. I already looked at Sloder, didn't I? Whiskers? Uh, Whiskers has a million morale. Already looked at everything that Whiskers is passionate about. I think we were heading for probably exosuit training? Yeah, seems good. Why not? Okay. We were building ourselves a couple of electrolyzer setups. Um, I was getting ready to have a big central power kind of area, but we're trying to drain this polluted water. So we need to pump down here. I was trying to do it with just a pitcher pump, but it wasn't good enough. Let's go for liquid pump. And we need to join that with this. Wait, give me give me those pipes back. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, stop. Oh my god. There we go. Um what is this? Polluted water? Wait, what? Oh, this thing outputs polluted water. Uh, but we got kind of full... Uh, yeah, we wanted to keep a gap here. We don't want the liquid reservoir totally full. So, I think for now I'm going to dump the polluted water over here. And... That entails doing this. Should I go up around this way? I guess so. Let's keep it where the dupes can reach it easily as well. Alright. Spaghetti regretty. Fantastic. What, a, what about power? This colony looks amazing for cycle 103. Thank you. Maholic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We enjoy whiskers. Keep meaning to play this game again, but PTSD from dying dupes. I know what you mean. Mmm, regretty spaghetti. At least we can delete it later. Okay. Temperature's still pretty good. Maybe not so much around the grill. It's fine. Food is 221,000 calories. Beautiful. How's our exploration going? Little by little? Uh, have we seen any more vents, I wonder? I think there was one up here that we were working towards. Yeah, here it is. No idea what's hidden here. And... We already found... And analyzed a natural gas geyser here. Um, I dumped this... At first it was an accident, but then I allowed the rest of this uh, salt water to fall down here so that the geyser wouldn't output... Not until we're ready. Don't call it deleting spaghetti, call it feasting. Fantastic. Um, I would really like to find the oil biome and 
theoretically get into a bunch of lead early so that we have refined metal without doing any of the processing. But if we get this thing working to produce oxygen, we'll have this sort of built-in cooling loop for most of the base as well. Assuming it all works properly. We'll see. Doop, 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 doop. What are we researching? Whoa. How did you get damaged? Moderate wounds. Protecting. Oh, there's an egg. Oh, no. There's... There's an egg. There's a poker shell egg in the bedroom, and this thing is protecting it. Probably should have avoided this situation. I'm not sure what to do about it right now, though. Can we wrangle it? I think we have... Yeah, we've got critter ranching, but I don't have a place to put it yet. So, is this... Oh, no! <laughs> Okay, all right. Attack. We're not... No. Stop hitting Whiskers in the back while he's trying to... Wait, is this an infinite combo? I'm terrified. Um... Stop him. There we go. That... That was scary. Move the egg in a bin? Yeah. I mean... How long have we got until it incubates? 20 cycles? Almost? So cycle 123, let's call it. Um, I need to find a place to eat these critters. I don't really have somewhere to expand right now. I'd need to remove all this polluted water. Which will be relatively simple. Since we're already doing this, I guess. Is there... Should I get rid of that slime? Maybe? I want this to be low priority. Because I want this done first. But I would like to get this polluted water out of the way. Can we prio 3 this? Right. No. I guess that's not how that works. And some wire. And fantastic. And then priority three. Below the or you can choose prior below the or. Okay, there's just no shortcut key to do it this way. Near as I can tell. Why are they building this first? Do we have... We do have materials, right? 
We've got 7.7 .7 tons of sedimentary rock. But you all are doing this first. Is the rock inaccessible somehow? I doubt it. Can I see what's in here? Sedimentary rock, zero. Sedimentary rock, zero. Where is the sedimentary rock? Don't tell me it's all down here. Uh, I doubt it. But I'd love to know where it is. D. Holmes, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Trio Griver, welcome also. Good to see you all again. How's our germs? It looked like it wasn't working for a while, but then... It's definitely been... Oh, 2.8 million germs in the liquid reservoir? That's cool. But on the surface, 30k, 38k, 34k. It used to be over 120. It's been trending downward. So the chlorine is maybe working, it's just taking its time. Totally germ-free water? It's fine. It, it will be germ-free water one day, theoretically, we hope. Don't, don't worry about the fact that it jumped up 3,000 germs, 4,000, 5,000 germs. It's fine. Don't worry about it. it. It'll be okay, eventually. We hope. It's fine. In theory, this plan already works. Yeah. What could go wrong? That's a lot of CO2 over here. Which is where we want it, although I wouldn't mind if these tiles were oxygen. I think it's as long as this tile down here is CO2 that these will grow. What, what prior was... Oh, I deliberately lowered this one's prior. That's fine. So, this is already built. Pump not in gas. That is what we want. I... I... Where is it? The, uh, materials overlay? Yeah. I did make this a vacuum for a reason. Um, so what are we waiting for? Just power? I think. So we want to get rid of this. Hurry up. Before we can start doing our electrolysis. Did you get the airlock mod? Uh, no I didn't actually. I haven't touched it since last week. I was a bit busy. T hacks I made blueprint from Priority Train. It contains few trains, the priority logic, it, and also RNG circuit. It's all in Discord. Yeah, I, I haven't looked at it in detail yet, but I did mention earlier oh, I need Beldex RNG circuit right now, actually, for testing purposes. How did you make an RNG circuit in. Factorio. I guess that room is just being emptied out then? Uh, which one? Oh yeah, no, this. Yeah, it was emptied out, yes. Um... Partly because... Actually, I think it is powered already. 
or it was for a little while. Where's the power coming from? Here. That's not going to be enough. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we want to get this out of the way so that we can build our proper generator room with heavy watt wires, and then we're going to have... Um, we're going to start using transformers where we need them. What are we printing? Thimble reed seed. Why not? Thimble reed? Oh, it's this. I'm not that excited about this, to be honest. We've already got those growing for free. Faster. It's making reed fiber faster than we need it. Yeah, so uh, oxygen gets vomited out this way, and, well, anything other than hydrogen gets spat out here, and hydrogen goes straight to the hydrogen generator right next to these things to reduce the cost of running it, or theoretically run itself indefinitely, but it never seems to work out that way. Why are these not... no harvest pending? Oh, no, I deliberately prevented harvesting here, so that it feeds the Draco. Makes it look like there's a problem here, though. I could just make it low priority. Is that okay? Why is it taking so long to make this stuff? Pseudo RNG. Well, yeah, it's always pseudo RNG, right? Used in compilers of programming languages. I bet Factorio uses this variant or similar for deterministic RNG. Nice. Simply Coco, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. But your Dracos need more than that to regrow their plastic wool. They need more than all of this. I've got, like, one of them. I think we did the math on how much they need as well. Also, we're not actually able to, um... get them to regrow. I can't remember why. There was something... surprisingly difficult to do that we needed to do to get them to regrow their tail. Glossy Drecklet Egg already. Wait, didn't we figure out we don't want those? For now, at least. Glossy Draco. Uh, it doesn't say what we get from shearing them. Well, I guess we'll find out. They need hydrogen to regrow it. There it is. Except it's just a DLC thing. Oh, well I don't have the DLC. So if it if they needed hydrogen to regrow it, it would say so. Submit bioscan. Someone on the way? No, nope, doesn't look like it. This is where our sedimentary rock is. So it is on the other side of the oxygen masks. That's probably why it was taking this long to build this stuff. I meant it might be a DLC thing. Oh, okay. It works simply. It generates sequence previous number in sequences multiplied by constant A. 
then you add constant C, next step is to do modulo constant M, and that's your new number in sequence. Okay. It's not just DLC, it's vanilla as well. They need to be immersed in hydrogen. Okay. Well, we're not going to have that environment set up for at least seven minutes. I'm really wishing I remembered to check out that airlock mod now. The one that makes technological airlocks actually work instead of these blobs of water. Wait, you're damaged. Why? Oh, this is still from when he was attacked. Uh, I don't have any cots right now. 60 health. I mean, it will heal itself, but... That does make me a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, we're inching closer to finally getting this pump built. disabled this, probably because we were running out of storage space for water, but I want to get rid of this brine. Hmm. so close. Just one more thing to build. Did I disable all these? Yeah, I did. Fantastic. it goes. Alright, so for now it's just going to be like manual generators and a battery or two, but we're going to have the heavy watt, uh, heavy watt wire running through here and up and down the What's the word I'm looking for? The spines? Not exactly. Up and down these uh, vertical access areas anyway. And we're going to have um, transformers when we need them. As opposed to running everything off of these random spaghetti regular wise with different sets of generators and batteries this is taking a while to to fill up I guess it's 400 watts versus 240. Hmm. It doesn't actually last that long. Alright. It's finally getting done, anyway. Doesn't look like we need oxygen masks up here. Oh, there's a bunch of chlorine, actually. Huh. And hydrogen. I guess I could do... 
I could use the same pump system we have already that's filling up oxygen masks. We've got the filter way back here, so... It might be worth the effort. Where am I going to put this? Why can't I see it? Stations? Oxygen mask checkpoint? Should I put it way up here? That's where we've got the oxygen after all. How much power does it use? Uh, why am I lost? It doesn't look like it uses any power? That's really nice, actually. Alright, all the more reason then. I'll put this way up here for now. And it does indeed not use power. Gas pipe. All the way up here. And... I think that's it. We just need to wait till this is built and order delivery of a couple of oxygen masks. Oh, I can't make one right now? That's not great. You're actually telling me I have zero... Zero iron, zero copper. Oh. Oh, that's bad. What seeds are good, though? Um, how about we get some of those resources? There's iron down here. What do you mean we have zero iron? I guess it's what's technically in storage. But I can't queue up... Oh, here we go. Oxygen mask, iron ore. Feels a bit wasteful. What are the properties of iron compared to copper? It's probably fine. It's only 50 kilograms. 50 kilograms. That does sound a little bit heavy for a mask, to be honest. But somehow that's a small amount in Oni. Um, what should we be researching now? Probably apothecary, sick bay. Do we not? Where are the cots? I thought we didn't have those yet. I would like to get exosuits before I feel the need to build them. I would definitely like to get circuits done before I feel the need to build them. Let's just queue this up. You know what? If I click this or this... No, if I click this, uh, as much of that as possible is going to get done without me paying attention to it again. getting the gas pipes done relatively quickly. We're not going to run out of space for this water, are we? No, it looks okay. Oh, and we're not even filtering out the regular water? It's probably fine. Uh, 
Oh, we've dug all the way down here. Uh, I guess let's keep going. But I do want to avoid... That's only carbon dioxide. Alright. We're not contaminating... That's hydrogen. That's all just CO2. Alright, cool. Let's dig down to here. Oh, and we got this open. Fantastic. Rummage? Is this it? I, I guess that's all of it. There's nothing here, is there? What kind of gas is this? Oxygen and chlorine. Alright. Uh, inspect. There's also table with common... Const oh, I thought you meant this kind of table. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I washed my sheets and forgot to dry them. Oh, no. I gather it's a bit late. You're not, you're not getting sunlight right now. Probably. Personal Journal R046. Gravitas has been growing pretty rapidly since our first product hit the market. I just got a look at some of the new hires. They're practically babies. Not quite what I was expecting, but then I'd never had an opportunity to mentor, mentor someone before. Could be fun. I think I read this before. It's 2am. Yeah, <laughs> that might be a bit late. Drying soon enough that you don't have to rewash, I hope. Indeed. Mentorship hasn't gone quite how I'd expected. Turns out the young hires don't need me to show them the ropes. Uh, Nawan PL, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, since the facility's gotten rid of our swipe cards, one of the nice young men had to show me how to operate the doors after I got stuck outside my own lab. Don't I feel silly? Well, if that, uh, if that isn't just gravy. One of the new hires will be acting as the team lead on my next project. When I first started, it wasn't that uncommon to sample a whole rack of test tubes by hand. Now a machine can do hundreds of them in seconds. Who knows what this job will look like in another 10 or 20 years. Will I still even be in it? Actually, I don't think I did read that one before. Sleep when? So they weren't like spares? Oh no. That looks kind of weird, right there. Oh, we got the AETN dugout. I don't know if I'll even use it this run. I mean, technically I have some spares, but I always want to wash them before putting it on because they sit in the closet. Oh, fair enough. Still better than nothing, I guess. Wait, what is a what weed? Sorry, water weed? Is that different? Oh, it is different. An inexperienced farmer may assume at first glance that the translucent fluent containing bulb at top the water weeds, uh, water weed is the edible portion of the plant. In fact, the bulb is extremely poisonous and should never be consumed under any circumstances. 
thrive in salty water and can be harvested for fresh edible lettuce. 12 cycles, 4,800 calories. Uh, I don't really remember, but that sounds really good. Um, what's this? 12 cycles, 600 calories. So this is eight times better, ignoring what we have to put into it. Temperature's pretty good. Really good, actually. Atmosphere, water, salt, water, brine. Oh, so it has to be immersed. Leech stone? 500 grams per cycle. Salt water, 5 kilograms per cycle. Huh. Brine doesn't count as salt water, does it? Surely not. So how do we... We've got salt from... Uh, from the desalinator. We've got water. I think we can probably figure out how to make salt water. I imagine. Five kilograms a cycle of water. It's kind of a lot, but it's a lot of calories. Decor plus 10. Well, I think I'd like to try getting those working at some point. Norwegian colleague felt sick. Meeting scheduled to start in an hour is cancelled. Beer time. Congratulations. Alright, so we're waiting for... Oxygen masks. It should already be done. Yeah, here they are. Oh, we've got three? How did that happen? And why isn't this delivered? What? I, I think we answered the first question with the second, but... Why? Deliver suit. Cryo 8. Fantastic. And there's already quite a lot of oxygen queued up. Oh, that water is almost gone already. Beautiful. This polluted oxygen, though. Um, how about here? At least the polluted oxygen seems to be lighter than oxygen. So most of the base is actually really clean. Onkestus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why didn't this get built? Unreachable. How is that unreachable? That seems rather odd. Well, this door has been left open forever anyway. 
I don't see the point of this airlock. I don't remember why I built it. I think it was to keep hydrogen or chlorine. It was probably chlorine that was in here at first. So can they now get here? Apparently they can. Was the door set so that people couldn't go through it? Was that what that was? I think that was probably it. What are we researching? Sensors. Nice. Someone left a pickled meal just lying around in the mess hall. We've finished removing the water here. I'll take that copper. Where else can we get some metal? Why did that sound like a double print? Uh, we're not taking any new dupes, so sand it is. Don't you care about slime lungs? Uh, yes. Inos Rage, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh. How long has that been like that? Is it because I dug in here? I had one piece of slime sitting here and I looked before and slime lung wasn't getting out. But... Apparently... Hmm, what am I going to do now? Let's put an airlock in the way. Is it just too late though? I guess we may as well try and stop it from getting worse. I'm always scared for it because it fucked up my base and my water supply. Uh-oh. How did it get into the water supply? We've got germs in the water supply, but they're slowly... Ooh, 27k? 28? Uh, 15k over here. It's working. The germs are dying. It's just taking a while. Where else can we get some copper and stuff? What is this, coal? Uh, material, consumable ore, not consumable ore. Metal? That's copper. What's the size of this room? This will be fine. It's gonna let a little polluted oxygen in, but that'll be okay. It's quite a bit of gold amalgam dotted around. Lots of iron over here. We're really running out of copper though. 
Michelle, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need that uh, lead if we can get to it. Oh, that's a lot of iron. Yes, please. out, do I? I do have a airlock up here. It's probably fine. So we could go down this way. Seeing any more neutronium? Oh, how far have we gone here? Relatively. How big is the map? I can't remember the uh, the key to zoom out to see it all. unlocked a bunch of automation stuff that we can't use yet. I see oxygen masks up here. That's good. What about down below? That one's sorted as well. Fantastic. So we should see digging happen up here a bit sooner. I think I'll bump the priority, because I really do want to see what the fuss is about up here. Uh, where's the neutronium? Here it is. Just woke up a few minutes ago. I need to leave for work in about 30. My shower should wake me the rest of the way. Good luck with that. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. And thanks for the luck. Where are we off to next, I wonder? Oh, we've got this water. Hell yes, let's get rid of all of that. Uh, as quickly as possible, please. I really want to finish building this generator area. So we're going to have a heavy watt here. Oh, they did pop that up quickly. Get rid of the slime. I guess the... Well, I was going to say the slime in here isn't getting out, but... Since we're going in this way as well. That poor shine bug. Maybe I could wrangle it? No, I can't wrangle it. have we got 20 tons of iron that's funny it was saying zero a little while ago uh good to know let's not make this out of gold amalgam actually and what are these wires for i think they were just left here I'll 
Okay. Uh, we don't need these deodorizers up here for now. Let's remove all of this. And these as well. Probably. Actually, yeah, we don't need... I hope we won't need these deodorizers again. And the thick cables... Go here. And here. And here. And I guess this is not going to work so well. Uh, let's do a transformer. And I guess this needs to be a junction for now. Can't just paste it over. Oh. Uh, this thing never even got its delivery. Let's just move it. Get rid of all the little wires. And I'll put this here. Actually, I'm guessing, yeah, I don't have to mark this for deconstruction, I just have to get this out of the way. Alright, let's get rid of this as well. Maybe I will leave some of that pipe in place, since we might want to empty this at some point. Whoops. Can we not get this done? I guess it's morning. Those plants are not too happy. What's the problem? Pressure. There's hardly any air in here. Fair enough. Oh, did I not leave that marked for deconstruction? There we go. And up. And there we go. Weird how the polluted oxygen is above the oxygen and then it just stops here. Seems a little strange. Um, how about we put another deodorizer up here? Printing time. Uh, I'll definitely take two tons of copper. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Alright, are we about ready to finish this part?
Wait, they're going to dig that in the wrong order, aren't they? And they should be able to reach this regardless. But they'd have to go all the way around here. Never mind. Wait, what are you doing? Why aren't you building this? Thought they could do it diagonally. Fine. Cryo the deodorizer. Oh, look at it working. Very nice. Right then. Can we crank the priority on these wires? So we can get our electrolysis started? What's the problem here? No power consumers? Oh, the pump hasn't been built yet. Sure. Does the deodorizer deal with slime lung? I'm guessing no. We're up to 300... 33,000 calories. It's a far cry from when we almost starved to death. Give me that copper. Actually, won't make it... Won't that make it too big to be a farm? There we go. Oh, it's alive. Spitting out a little CO2 that snuck in there somehow. Uh, so when do we get... Where's the fluid? Is this thing disabled? Oh, no power wire connected. There's your problem. Okay. We can't put this here, right? We could. But I think... I would probably prefer to do it this way. Maybe. They will block uh, block swap that and not let the brine out, surely. Yeah, we're good. No, they let a bit of brine out. Luckily, it went where we were already dealing with it. Alright, prior this. Don't we have vacuum here? No. When did we let all this air in? Probably when we were building. So close. Just one more trip and it'll all be working. I think. I hope. It feels like the day is very, very short. Thirty grams a second of O2, exhaling much less CO2 than that. Contact with allergic reaction germs. Unfortunate. 
What is this random chlorine doing here? Alright, we got power here. Nope. There's like two tiles of this that haven't been built. Oh, is this it? Yes. Alright, thus begins our cooling loop and our electrolysis, probably. Looks like the temperature is dropping, question mark? It's definitely fluctuating. Oh, yep, temperature's dropping. Probably not too far. Pr probably. I don't relish the thought of having to control where the fluid goes depending on the temperatures, but it's doable. But I imagine the base will produce enough heat just generally that this won't be freezing it or anything. It comes out at negative 10. It's not that much volume that's in the pipes. What's in here is already above zero Celsius. And this stuff underneath it is going to be producing heat. Once it's actually working. Why is it stopped? Uh, I thought there was a lack of electricity, but... Why is the... Pipe blocked? How? Did that not get built? It got through this way. Liquid pipe. This liquid pipe here contains brine. This liquid pipe here contains brine. So why is this one empty? What? What? Oh, don't tell me. No? The bridge isn't backwards, otherwise this one would be wrong. This one's backwards, that's why this won't go into here. Okay. We got it. It's fine. We... The next in the line, yeah. Simply Coco, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we prior this? Yeah, it's a little sneaky how it doesn't like go all the way through here, but then you would think it would, I guess. Maybe not. There we go. We can queue this up and it'll get done without any further action. Fantastic. And now we steal heat from this place. Bring it back up here. Equalizing everything a bit more. Why is there water in here? What? No, what is happening? 
Why is it getting damaged? What temperature is this? Oh no, there's brine going in there. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. How did this happen? Uh, I ran the cooling loop. Not where it was supposed to go. Okay. Um... That's... that's a problem. Let's stop this as quickly as possible. And now we need to repair this stuff. And then... remove this as well. Okay. So... Our water supply... We've got more room than we had before. But I don't actually want to be using the brine water to dump into the water reservoir at this time. Because we don't have a way to limit it properly. Because we need to make sure there's a gap so like the polluted water can cycle back in after it's been cleaned. Um, so... I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, this, uh... I do want to run the coolant loop through here. It's just not going into the input for the electrolyzers. So, straight up this way, and like so, I think. Should probably wait till we remove it, otherwise it's going to get like weird corners and stuff, I think. Mop this up. here. Printing time. Uh, Arbor Acorn, absolutely. I haven't found the time to build these things, but we've got three seeds now, sure. Maybe put those here somewhere. Okay, pipe goes like this. And then... Water bridge... Like so. And like so. Maybe it would be good to have a water reservoir, but I don't really see a spot to squeeze it in. Besides which, as long as we've got power, like we need power to run this anyway, and as long as Brian is coming in and we've got power, this will be fine. Can we pro the construction here? Let's 
especially the first one so we can see it working. Uh, why does... Oh, I see. Okay. Let's get this thing working, and I might take a break after that. So I think we want, like, an automatic valve right about here, and we'll read from this uh, liquid reservoir, and we only want to let new water in if this one is, I don't know, half empty, empty. Just gotta leave some slack in there. That is not a whole lot of water that's going through the desalinator. We don't have power. How much power does it need? 480. Yeah, that's kind of a bit. How fast does it consume? Because if it's slow, it would mean the liquid pump effectively doesn't need as much power. 4650 grams per second, 4.6 kilograms. Um, is that how much it consumes? No. I think it takes in five, kil uh, five kilograms per second. So half a unit of pipe. And the liquid pump, 10 kilograms. Okay, so the liquid pump, uh, once it's all saturated, should only need like 120 kilowatts effectively. Or 120 watts, sorry. But as it is right now, until we hit that point of saturation, uh, it is taking a bit of effort to get there. And we need more, more than one dupe. Oh, we're also running this pump as well. We need more than one dupe running on the generators uh, just to keep the desalinator net positive on power. Okay. What do we have here? Carpeted tile? Wait, you can make it out of granite? Serious? Oh, you need the granite plus the reed fiber. Okay. Decor plus 20. And then plus 20%. Run speed is slowed down. So if we carpet the, uh, like, bedroom, are they going to be happier? Granite carpet, right? Nothing like obsidian carpet to, to have that nice soft feeling under your toes. The plush comfort of solid granite, yes. Granite is kind of the best material to make it out of, though. Plus 20% decor, so that's, uh, what, plus 24 decor instead of plus 20? Oh, it's saturated. 
Now if we could just get two people... Yes, 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 yes. Apparently that's still not enough. Probably because of this pump. But we are doing some electrolysis now. What? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. The filters weren't set. We're spitting out hydrogen into the base. No, please. Hydrogen. Please put the hydrogen in the hydrogen generators. That would also help with power. Well. We've got a few whiffs of random hydrogen in the base now, and it's all come right up here. Hello, have you stopped your Let's Play of uh, Factorio SE Plus K2? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, Tirior de Peace, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. SE K2 is continuing every weekend. Uh... Saturday and Sunday for me, which is, I think, uh, I'm confused. Is it Friday and Saturday for most people, or is it Sunday and Monday? No, wait, I live in the future, so Friday and Saturday for a lot of people? Uh, yeah, I haven't ported some of the episodes to YouTube yet, but other than that, we're not, uh, we're not stopping with K2SE until it's done. Oh, we get, we have water here now. Oh yeah, the water doesn't get consumed that fast by the electrolyzer, right? Is it one kilogram per second? Yeah, one kilogram per second. And the desalinator can spit out 3.5 kilograms per second. So effectively, it's going to cost a bit less than two-thirds of its actual power cost if everything's running. That's definitely going to make it a bit more attainable. Thank you, you're welcome. Alright. I would love to see when this pump is finished doing its job. Oh. Um... Okay. I think... I'd like to get this anyway. Uh, I think we need to make a bit more room for this polluted water. I hope that's only clean water that's coming out. Starvation? We've got 351,000 calories. What do you mean, starvation? Are you gonna eat? Personal needs eat. Please do that, Benwu. Why is there no oxygen in here? There is oxygen in here. What? Where did he go? Benwu. Where are you? Uh... Follow cam. Here we go. Okay. Don't scare me like that. Told you I forgot to eat. <laughs> Lol. Uh, why am I seeing this room filling with hydrogen now? What? 
Oh no, that's supposed to happen. Yeah, because the electrolyzer spits out hydrogen and oxygen just into the room. That's why we need the gas pumps. It's fine, actually. And we're actually at the point where our little initial build for the oxygen output is saturated. There's too much pressure. That's really good. That's fantastic, actually. Okay, then. Didn't take long to get there, to be honest. Although, yeah, we already had lots of oxygen. Um, but the more we produce from this, the slower we consume our algae. I guess we could connect this as well. Which means we don't need to suck it up from here. That's actually a really good idea. We can just get rid of this. And then... More vents. And... It's already filtered. Oh. Well, okay, here's the thing. This is filtered so that strictly just oxygen goes into this uh, gas pipe, and that goes to oxygen masks. This other stuff is hydrogen, goes to the hydrogen generators. So if there's any contaminants, if we connect those, that's actually going to be a problem. That setup is enough for 16 dupes. You'd fill your base in no time like that. Fantastic. Mil Dorado, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sloda, West dude, welcome, welcome. Also, hold that got timed out. Wait, when? Going to store. By gyros meant to be put into... Oh, gyros meat. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. I don't see what timeout you're referring to. You timed him out? Oh, wow, okay. I see how it is. Uh, should these connect? Probably. And... Do we need more of these? It's quite cheap, gas pipe. It doesn't cost power or anything. Let's put this up here. It's much nicer than having to put oxygen diffusers in a few places as well. Just being able to have a gas pipe network for it. Oh, printing. Uh, sure, another draclet is fine. I think. Can we wrangle it? Why can't I click on him? Now I can click on him. Okay. Do I want to make it so... Why is there gold amalgam in here? I think for now... I'll make it so that no one's allowed in here. Unless we see a... Until we see a reason for it. We're just going to leave these rooms sealed. Because... 
because I don't want that hydrogen coming out. Definitely would have benefited from storing some of the hydrogen, but the gas reservoir is so big. Huge, actually. Why is the polluted... Wait, no, I think the polluted oxygen did come down to here before. But why do we have layers of it like this? That's weird. Also, why is this deodor... I... Oh, no. Touché. You got me there. Let's also put one over here. Hopefully that'll be enough to clean up this place. I guess we can't get up here, probably. Found some more lockers. And we found oil. There's the lead. Gimme, gimme. Fossil. What is this used for? Lime and sedimentary rock? Is that it? That's not too exciting. Oxygen and polluted oxygen don't really mix vertically, so deodorizers tend to clear layers like that. I see. Okay. Um, this thing's actually succeeding beyond expectations in terms of powering itself. This is excellent, actually. And base temperature, fluid temperatures, and so on is looking very nice. Next, I would like... Should I put some, like, metal refinery, that kind of thing, up here? Hmm. It produces so much heat, though. We need, we kind of need steam turbines f specifically for the heat deletion, but the metal refinery comes first. What is that? Oh, just a leaf. I thought it was a big something behind there. Someone built one piece of ladder here. Now they can get up. Fantastic. Oxygen is being distributed. Fantastic. Deodorizer is, as always, waiting delivery. Can they not reach this?
It looks like it's reachable. It's been supplied. Oh, it's going to be even better when that pump has finished its job as well. For the self-powering. Nice. Fossil is a good source of lime if you don't have any eggshells to crush. Need it for steel. Fair enough. Oh crap, we got a sage hatchling. I didn't want those, I think. Uh, it eats slime, algae, polluted dirt, and so on. But, I mean, it's good that it eats polluted dirt, but I don't think we can keep up with that. We also need a separate room for it. Uh, I don't want to barbecue a tiny baby. Let's get rid of the other egg, though. I don't particularly want to build another... I could make this two rooms, I guess. Or a stable? Or a pair of stables? How much polluted dirt do we have? Oh, that's not where I'm trying to look. Polluted dirt. We have like five tons, which in this game is not a lot. That list, though. Polluted dirt is where? I don't see it at all. Oh, there it is. 140 kilograms per cycle. So... We've got like 35 cycles to feed this thing. Except it's going to eat other stuff as well. I don't know. We'll just hold on to it and see how it goes. It can eat just about anything, so maybe this is fine, actually. I should siphon off some of that hydrogen... Well, it's going to be rather difficult to do with what I've got here, now that I think about it. Oh, then again. A bit of pipe over here, or somewhere. Shouldn't be too hard to take it to make some... To make a room for Dracos at some point. We'll change this to something else. Oh, and there's our oil reservoir. We gotta build a thing on top of it though, right? Give me that lead. All of it, actually. What's this? Fossil? Diamond? Beautiful. Alright, it's about time to take a little break. It's actually well past time to take a little break. It's been almost four hours. I'm looking forward to finding out what's what kind of geyser we have up here. Let's give it a save. And get some words on stream going. Lunchtime already? Alright. Put this here. Veldek goes yay. And that should be it. 
start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. One more. One more. Okay, let's continue, shall we? Nicely done. Uh, I might go another hour, if that, today. Feeling just a bit sick. I don't want to overdo it. I want to make sure I can keep doing this for the rest of the week. It's really more just my throat. Not like a sore throat, just a uh, little trouble talking and stuff. Alright, so where are we up to? We are almost at the Neutronium. And Cavern is... I was going to say almost out of oxygen in the mask, but that's not true. Okay, now he's almost out of oxygen. What do we have here? And gates and so on. Atmo sensor. Drywall? Wait, what is drywall? Prevents gas and liquid loss in space. Oh, so it's like a back wall. Um, so we could create a room up where there's like void behind us. Atmo suits. Fantastic. Way before we have any metal to make them with. Refined metal, that is. High pressure gas vent. I never noticed this. Overpressure 20 kilos, as opposed to 2 kilos. Hmm. Okay. I wonder when that would be most useful. When we're storing gas somewhere? As opposed to filling the base with oxygen, for example. What about down here? We're a good few tiles away from getting that sweet, sweet lead. That does sound a bit weird to say. Um, how about we do a ladder here, get that oil out of the way. Dupes don't like overpressure. 
Yeah, I could imagine. Is it excess pressure that would make your ears pop, or is that under pressure? Probably excess pressure, right? Either would. Interesting. Can we clean up this water? It's just everywhere, actually. How's our water storage? It's getting lower. One of the first things I want to automate is bringing more water into this, uh, only when it's not too full. Actually, I wanted to get this water in there, didn't I? And here I ended up making a storage area for it because we didn't have room to put it up here. What do we got? Um, five kilos... Oh, sorry, five tons of water for each liquid reservoir, and we've got that times 1.5. So we got like 7.5 tons. Isn't that just like 7.5 tiles? We've got way more water than that here, if I'm counting it correctly. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, definitely one of the first things I want to automate. Probably here? I don't think we could put it behind the wall. I might have to move these pipes around a little bit. Like, this goes here. And remove this. And then we have a, like, a valve right here. That only lets water in if this is below a certain level. And then we can hook this up and forget about it. Oh, I should probably be putting more effort into using this central power that we finally got that can go up to 20 kilowatts. Uh, hatchling egg? Sure, why not? How many hatchlings do we have here? Glum? Time until death 3.5 cycles? It's not old age. Starving? How are you starving? Uh, why is this disabled? I think I may have misclicked something somewhere. Can we get that fixed as a priority? Uh, but actually though... There we go. Good boy. It'll make him pop to the inside or outside depending on pressure level. So when... When something is like sucking... The air from inside your head... You sense a pop anyway. Should I prior this? Probably. I really want to try taking advantage of lead before we, um, before we make any refined metal ourselves. Although I won't be terribly shocked if there's a few things we just can't make out of lead. Here we are. 
can't quite click on this yet. I think it's this tile, if we leave that blocked, uh, this thing won't work, I hope. Maybe I should put an airlock in the way just in case. Probably. Maybe I shouldn't have dug straight to it horizontally. Probably. It's only the pressure change that's an issue, as long as there's time to equalize the inner and outer ear pressure to be fine. Yeah. It's the, uh, the delta. Alright, what do we got? Natural gas geyser, again. Didn't we have natural gas over here? Yeah, we have... They're quite close to each other. We have one here, one here. should probably make a room to take advantage of that. Um, natural gas generator has a... It has a... Like an input just like the hydrogen generator, right? Gas intake pipe, gas intake pipe. It also outputs... CO2 and polluted water. Not a whole lot of polluted water. It generates an awful lot of heat, though. About the same as a coal generator. For a bit more power. Um, since we're this high up already, I think what I'd like to do is vent the CO2 instead of making a uh, carbon skimmer. Well, it's not going to be a disaster if some natural gas gets out of this. If it was a fluid, it would be more of a pain. Uh, can we maybe... get over this? Oh, that's what I wanted to check. What temperature does it come out? 150 degrees. That's kinda hot. And this one's the same. Yeah, that's, um, a bit of a problem. How's our temperature here? Is it actually getting too cold? 13 degrees... How cold is it going to get? Heat management is a nightmare. Can we make a... There are some things we need to use the rock crusher for, right? Could I maybe just put it here? I mean, for now it'll be fine. Definitely. Even if we're gonna take a path where we never inefficiently make, um refined metal. There are a couple of things we want the rock crusher for.
I was thinking of putting... Uh, I was thinking of putting the metal refinery here as well. And maybe using this brine as the coolant. But it's going to heat it up so much, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe we could just, like, be careful about how often we use it. At least in the short term. That might be the way to go. Do we need a pump? I think we do. Well, we already have a pump. Do we just take it from here and straight into this? We can't bring it through here, right? That would be way too convenient. I could just bring it up this way and then drop it down here. All right, let's try it, I guess. And the rock crusher goes here. Does it matter what we make it out of? Oh, we can only make it out of... Out of, like, basic rocks. This is fine, I think. It's the same number of tiles either way. You wanted check, here I am. Fantastic. Always check. Always good. I don't suppose the hydrogen is stopping... No, it's not. Um, can we not have slime lung coming in as much? I think this area has been getting less bad with the slime since I sealed this off. I don't think the deodorizers do anything the slime, but it's probably just, I don't know, getting breathed in by the duplicants, making them sick, but we're gradually running out of it. Oh, that was quick, but we don't have the other requirements. Rock Crusher. So we don't want to do these recipes because we lose half of our precious metal that gets turned into sand. Eggshell to lime is obviously quite good. Actually, do we want to just do that forever? Probably. Poker shell malt. I don't think we got any of those, did we? Well, we may as well. Granite to sand. Igneous rock to sand. Obsidian to sand. Salt to table salt. Definitely want some of that. Actually, how much effort is it to make use of... Is it just in some food recipes, or is there something else? Salt solid? Is there not an entry for table salt? I feel like I've been over this. Do some of these recipes require table salt. Not that I can see. What does table salt do in this game? a mystery. I 
guess we'll just have to make some. Uh, salt to table salt. Also, what use is there for salt other than this? Uh, rust plus salt into the rust deoxidizer. Oxygen, chlorine, and iron. That's kind of neat. Wants you to make sure his design is good. Check it out, and if it's good, give it your green check mark of approval. Yes. Table salt is stored in the mess table. Duplicants will consume table salt when eating at mess tables. Each mess table can store up to 5 grams. Usage consumes 1 gram, plus 1 morale bonus. Nice. So only 1 gram. How much does this make? 5 grams. And it gives us 100 kilos of sand as well. Okay. I'm a little disappointed that we got a second natural gas geyser. I mean, it'll be good eventually, but like... Just more of the same right next to each other, relatively, that we can't make use of yet. That's a lot of crude oil. Come to think of it, I'm rather surprised the oil reservoir doesn't have neutronium tiles underneath it. Don't tell me I could destroy it if I wanted to, or if I was very careless. It looks like it. Or maybe this would just stay there even if we removed those tiles. Wolframite to tungsten, that's one of those wasteful recipes. So basically we can turn things to sand, we can make table salt, we can make lime, and that's, as far as I know, it for the rock crusher being useful. Um, and as for the metal refinery... This is more what we're looking for. So it's just one to one, plus some heat, of course. A lot of heat, actually. We can't make steel yet. I think you do that there. I still haven't expanded this power. Did I put it facing down here? Because this was where I was going to put the uh, heavy watt wire in the middle tile. Probably. Should probably get rid of whatever wire spaghetti I'm not using right now. Make things a bit less confusing. I don't particularly want heavy what wire coming in here where people work for a while. Because they'll be sad that they're surrounded by wires. Because how dare I? So we need to squeeze in a... Uh, what do you call it? Transformer. I'm guessing the transformer itself is negative decor, because of course it is. 
I'm already wishing I made the, the main artery of the base two or three tiles wider so that we can put transformers in this section. Or perhaps we could actually have transformers like way up here and just run run wire all the way down to where we need it. That actually might make a lot of sense. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Boy, when we scale up, that's going to get really bad, actually. Oh, this is empty. Let's mop it up. Deconstruct all this. Fantastic. And I guess we don't need this transformer. Come to think of it, I wonder if the transformers don't leak. I don't think it would be a very good way of storing power, though. This holds a thousand jewels. I think the big ones hold four thousand jewels. And less than half of this battery is 20k joules. But if it doesn't leak... I'm sure the scale of how many transformers you would need to abuse to take advantage of that, it wouldn't be worth the metal or the space. Alright, should we make a proper, like, research room? Also, can we get rid of that polluted oxygen first? I guess we'll do this wire spaghetti one more time. Uh, like this. Oh, it tells you ahead of time, I think. So if I recall correctly, pumps... Wait, do liquid pumps work if they're hanging in the air? Deodorizers do not. Hydrogen generators do not. I think I've seen gas pumps just floating in the air and working just fine. But I'm surprised it works that way with liquid pumps. Hello, how goes Oni? Not too bad. Just check. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's going pretty smoothly, actually. Apart from my slow progress. We've got only eight dupes. We're stopping there until... We've really got things under control and know what we're doing. We've got way more than enough electrolysis coming from a uh, cool salt slash geyser, which we're also using to cool the base before we uh, bring it back to the desalinator. Good, they can be suspended, because then you can control the level you pump from. Maybe you might want to only pump half the liquid and not all of it. Yeah, I just sort of expected to have to do something like put them above mesh tiles. I do want to test out a little bit using the metal refinery and seeing just how much heat it produces. At the rate we're going, uh, the full salt slush geyser is actually cooling things too much. 
which is kind of great actually. We'll certainly uh, we'll certainly not be overburdened by cool temperatures for too long. Like over here, I would like to cool down. I'd definitely like to transfer this heat over here a little bit. So let's see what we can do. Like this. And... I don't want to cool the farms down too much, though. They're already... They're already quite good, actually. So maybe... Maybe if we bring this... Oh. Are we still using this pipe? We're not. We're sort of not using this one anymore either. I'll leave that as is. But I think I will get rid of this. And we'll run this through here, at least for now. Actually, I could leave that where it is and bridge this way. Cool, sl cool salt slush geysers are awesome. Yeah, it seems that way. Is this going to still be a little T intersection? No, good. I know functionally it would have been the same, but still. It would have bothered me a little bit. Okay, so is this going to be allowed to go this way? Yes, it is. Fantastic. In fact, it's getting sucked up there. That's perfect. Can we finish this, or can we not reach it? There we go. Fantastic. That's not fantastic. That's not what I had in mind. Please... Please be removing this bit of pipe. Oh no. Oh no. They're not gonna make it. They did make it. Yes. That was so close. That's some fast work. Well, I don't really care when they get this done. No! I was going to say I don't really care when they get this done, except I just want to confirm that this will work properly. To drain this fluid right here. Back into the loop. What are we researching? Virtual Planetarium. That's a bit advanced, I was going to say, but we can make it out of regular metal. Conducts interstellar research. Consumes data from telescopes and research modules. Needs astronomy. Does this have to be uh, exposed to space, I think? I think I read about it before, maybe, when it was had to be up in space. Does the cooling loop just not show the fluid movement once it's full? Yeah, it's not. It's a bit of a misnomer. It's not actually a loop. Um, so 
our cool brine goes zigzagging through most of the base. Uh, and then it comes back up here, zigzags through here, and then it goes into the desalinator. Uh, and then we're going to make use of the water that comes out. There's another machine that makes data research modules that does need to be exposed. Oh, okay. Arcade cabinet, only 1.2 kilowatts. Lamel. I don't think I've ever seen someone build one of those. All of our oxygen output is over pressure. Fantastic. I've never been this far ahead with oxygen. I think our algae collection has been reduced a little bit though. I kind of want to delete all the oxygen diffusers and find out if we are able to survive on just this or if we're going to slowly run out of oxygen. Is that the only one? I think that might actually be the only diffuser at this point. So it's limited by the rate of the desalinator, yes. And the desalinator is limited by water output, which is limited by outputting oxygen, ultimately. We, do, we produce hydrogen as well, which uh, at the very least greatly mitigates the cost of running this thing. Um, I think it, on paper, it is actually net positive for power, just a little bit. But with how slow it is, even if that's correct, um, I think just the battery leakage is probably offsetting that. But yeah, it's, um, it mostly runs itself, and we're bottlenecked on outputting oxygen from electrolysis. So that's why the cooling loop is mostly... It's not a loop. The cooling snake, I guess? The cooling pipes are mostly not moving. Um, which is fine, because if they were in motion all the time, I think the base would actually be getting too cold. Maybe? They never built this? Okay, now they built it. I don't have any other recipes. Um, I want to do a little test run for the metal refinery. So can we turn some gold amalgam into gold? Do we need refined iron to make steel, or is it raw iron? Errands. Ben Wu, Evil Claw. Someone will come. Oh, did it already get done? I just saw fluid filling up here again. No, it didn't get done. Refined iron for steel. Okay. Oh, we just got the recipe. Nice. Iron ore to iron. Iron plus refined carbon plus lime equals steel. Refined carbon comes from a kiln. 125 kilograms of coal makes 100 kilograms refined carbon. And that is the only way to make it. Um, should I just shove a kiln? Oh, this is perfect, actually. That'll be fine, I think.
And there's our gold. Nice. I'm not seeing obvious heating here. Um, or am I? 4.6 degrees. It was already warmer over this side. I noticed the power cable is warmer. Anyway, uh, unreachable dig? What do you mean? Not allowed by schedule, sure. But why does it say unreachable dig? Or is the copper supposedly unreachable? No, it seems fine. Alright. Refined carbon. How much coal do we have? 29 tons. Good. Let's keep it that way. Somewhat. Oh, wait. I want to be careful. We're just going to do these things little by little. Uh until we see a change in temperature. There's really no rush, especially with how conservative we're being with our population count. And we've got electrolysis already. How much heat does this make? A lot, I would imagine. Uh, plus 20... So it's a bit more than the metal refinery. And a bit more than the rock crusher. Depending on what you are making, the refinery will add different amounts of heat to the liquid. Steel is the hottest at plus 56 Celsius. Wow. I think this, um, cool salt slush guy is a... The more I think about it, it's in, like, the perfect position to get a relatively new player through the earlier parts of the game. We don't have to travel too far to it. It is cooling the base. If I don't do these heat-producing things... It is actually cooling the base a little too much, gradually. Although we've got quite a bit of heat here still. No, it's not that hot. It's like 25, 26. I didn't check the temperature here before. Probably should have. But yeah, like, we're able to do this balancing act of not cooking the base as opposed to every other playthrough. So I think I want to keep digging up. I want to keep digging up until we find space. I want to keep digging down until we get lead. And more lead, and more lead, and printing time. Dirt, dirt. And just sort of take our time with refining metal. How far do we have to go without air here? Not very. Oh, there's like no air here. And then we've got, it's all polluted oxygen, actually. I think the first thing I actually want to get going 
with refined metal is exosuits. Did we get rid of the polluted oxygen here? I think we did. Almost all of it, anyway. I think we could probably get rid of this now. It's a nice seed. In fact, would you mind copying and pasting it into chat? Uh, sure. Where do I find it again? Here, here it is. By all means. Am I obsessive enough to chase that one bit of polluted oxygen? No, I'm not quite that bad. I think we can get rid of this now. Thank you, you're welcome. More for yourself. Good to see you again. Oh well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. Might be worth adding it as a command for Oni streams. That's a good point. Sticky it in the Discord. I'll do the latter right now. Because that's really easy. Oh, I've already... I've already done it. Yep. Uh, sticky... Pin... Where's the pin button? Wait, did I already pin it? No. Where pin? There it is. Let me just edit this so it says, like, current seed or something. There we go. Gotta go. Cheers. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Also, hi. Hello, Morpheus. We finished our refined carbon. Heat is pretty ordinary. I think we can afford at least a few more of these. Let's go like Three more of these, and three of these, and we'll see what it looks like after that. We got like 5.9, 6.2 degree water here, up here we've got 17 degree oxygen. How much water is it bringing up for one recipe? Alright, so we're up to 7 degrees already, actually. That's, uh... That's almost alarming, but not really. As long as we take our time. Where did all this water come from? Whoops. Let's mop it up. We don't need that airlock anymore, I don't think. is not getting done very quickly. Oh, I need to see how far the oxygen mask gets them when they come down here. Why don't I just make this ladder super high priority and we'll pay attention to the errands.
How's the colony going? Quite well, actually. It's going slowly, but it's going very well. I think. Probably. Oh, I don't want... Uh, I don't really want all of that water down there. Oh well. Oh, this is what I was looking for. So cavern is... Gets to the job with like 70% oxygen left in the mask. That's not that bad, but I would still like to replace this with um, exosuits. It'll be something to work on tomorrow. Oh wait, tomorrow I wanted to do Into the Breach instead, actually. Suit's not available yet? Uh, plastic. Yeah, we don't have any plastic yet. Wasn't there another way to get it? I think it was, uh, Drekos, right? If we immerse Drekos in hydrogen, was it plastic that they give us? Shiny Drekos. Okay. And we have... Is it glossy? Or shiny? Draco. Glossy Draco. Um, glossy Dracos. Okay. Random 16 by 16 colored lamps. That sounds cool. Suits don't need plastic. Do they not? Yeah, I thought they needed refined metal and... Uh, refined metal and this stuff. Uh, reed fiber, which is just growing for us. They'll come out of the egg with one shear ready, but to grow more they'll need hydrogen. Okay. So I guess we'll be slowly getting it anyway, since they'll eventually die of old age. Oh, it already happened. Wait, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, we got... We got a few free shears with no sorting out the hydrogen yet. Okay. Do they consume the hydrogen, or...? They just need to be immersed in it. He's getting scalded. Oh no. How hot is this oil? 81 degrees? Uh, Sloda? Don't, don't worry about that for the moment. I would like someone to get this done so that we can get the oil out of the way. But I'm a bit scared of them getting themselves cooked as they do it. Good. Perfect timing. We can babysit uh, Matt Trim. Uh, okay. I guess we're just doing a little bit at a time. That's actually probably for the best. No, nope, we're coming straight back as soon as I was going to look somewhere else. Want to buy new dupes since you killed me? I'm sorry. Um, name in base, though. I forgot to change that. Wait, am I still alive, or was that the old one? That was the old base. Um, we've got... 
Cavern, Benwu, Karenza, Evil Pla, Valdak, Whiskers, Matrim, and Sloda this time. Uh, and I'm not going to be adding new dupes for quite a while because I don't want to overshoot and I don't want to be working with a, a much stricter time limit with resource management before we get to everything being infinite um, while I'm still figuring out the game. Eight dupes has been a pretty good... What is all this? Uh, eight dupes has been a pretty good balance of being able to get stuff done a little bit slowly, but consuming the resources, generating the heat and all that stuff um, at a much more sustainable pace. Alright, we can put this here now. It's actually about time. Um, just going to finish a bit early today because I do not want to overdo being maybe a little bit sick or more to the point, having a little bit of trouble with my, my air hole. So let's see who is playing Oni. Not a whole lot. We got Jess Jack. I've read a Jess Jack a couple of times already. Day seven. First colony has fallen. This is about the same. Thanks for the stream. Get better. No worries. Um, I do plan to stream tomorrow with uh, Into the Breach. With all the new stuff, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, I think it was added like three months ago or something. I wasn't aware of it until recently. With any luck, uh, straight back to a normal schedule tomorrow. In the meantime, let's check in. Wait, wait, wait. Let me check that we can actually like raid this person and chat and stuff. I've fallen for that before. Oh, seems okay. Alright, uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. And away we go. With that set up, we can sweep up all this stuff on the floor down here. 